This video is very important because I will talk about this part only, convert from binary to decimal. We need to master this completely, really, without hesitating, uh, or without, let's say, not hesitating, now this word is another language, um, without taking it like not serious. This should be serious. Addressing means um, converting from binary to decimal and vice versa. It should be done in that way. Yeah, okay. So what I will do right now will be I will start converting some uh, random examples just to sh just to show you really how to convert something from binary to decimal let me say something very simple when your eyes or let me give you the basics at the beginning that i should not delete um there is not something called like a ladder or a chart for the binary system and it starts from number one and it continues to multiply by two all the way like i will start from number one because it's the first value in this decimal language and in the binary zero and one are the two values but in the decimal let me start even in decimals from zero to two to nine but the idea is the chart starts from one i'm sorry so i will start from number one and i will multiply that by two so the result will be two and i will multiply two by two so the result will be four and I will multiply 4 by 2 because the rule says so. So that would be 8. And I will multiply 8 by 2. So that will be 16 and 32 and 64 and 128. And if I wanted to continue, I will never stop because there will be 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4196, 8300 something. And this will never stop. Okay, but I will take just an ideal number of eight values. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So these are eight values, and that should be enough for today. And you might be wondering, wait, why did you make that eight values? Well, to be serious with you, to be honest, because I'm telling teaching you this video so that you will master the subnetting and the other this the addressing not the sub the addressing of ipv4 ipv4 is based on four octets each octet is eight bit of value so each octet will contain values from these eight it will never exceed to reach the 256 because you will never see 256 in an ip address the maximum is from 0 to 255 so if you have a white paper perhaps and a pen just do these with me for now we haven't started yet this is just a, a warm-up and that's it i'm seriously haven't started anything yet and still my eyes scratches so much okay so let's start right now if i have that if i have those things look okay uh let me start with example number one i feel not comfortable with these here let me migrate that to zero to 255 up so i will start from below the line let me start with example number one example number one says if you have the value of one how does that looks like in binary you might say sajat it's one so in binary it would looks like one uh no again I am telling you if I have the value number the number of one a numerical value of one just I tell you hi give me one banana please so the computer will not see it as one the computer will convert the decimal one because the computer knows you're human and you gave an input of decimal one so the computer needs to translate that to binary one how does binary one looks like well it looks like eight bits eight empty bits you need to fill it so that the result the total result of all of these numbers combined will represent the binary one okay how is that done well step number one just write these eight dashes done step number two let me pick another different number so that i will grab your attention even more and let me go back to the chart which i will use from now until the end of this chapter and i might borrow it in chapter two and three both of them so that by the end of chapter three i will be a real master of addressing of ipv4 so let me look at the chart and i will say 
Well, if I want it right now to fill these eight empty dashes with eight values and they must be binary values. So here I must type either ones or zeros, a mix of them, all ones, all zeros. I don't know. In the end, they will be either ones or zeros. Then what I will need will be to type these mix so that their result will be um, will be one. So let me start from right to left because I will always start from right to left. If I use numerical value one to type it as the first thing here on the right, will that be equal or bigger than one itself? Well, equal or smaller than one itself? Well, it's equal. So I think this can make good use of. Okay, step number two. If I use number two now, will I want to add it? Well, to be serious, if I ever add a 2 here, then I will have to combine 1 plus 2 and the result will be 3. So even before I even continue to the left, wait a minute, I don't need that. Because, do you remember when I just wrote down 1? This binary 1, if I want it, if this binary 1, which was written instead of this 1, refers to that I need to activate this numerical value. Again. This is the first example out of 10. So you will start getting this correct in the good in the upcoming examples and you will love it. You will absorb the idea. Bear with me. Okay, so again, what I want to do right now is that I need to take these eight numerical values of the chart and I will need to replace them with binary values below so that I will have a complete binary eight digits value representing something decimal that I want like if it was one, ten, hundred thousand, ten thousand, whatever. So let me tell you again if I if this number was good to me if number one was good to me then I will replace it with one if number one was not good to me I should replace it with a zero but number one is equal or smaller than this one and by writing it down I believe that I achieved my target because this numerical value of one equals to that one eventually I got my one. So what I want, what I need to do right now is that I will need to stop my calculation and that's it. I don't need the two anymore because if I combine one and two, I will have three. I don't want decimal three. I want decimal one. So a zero. I don't need the four, a zero. I don't need the eight, not the 16, 32, 64, 128. So I don't need all of you. I only the first need the first numerical value on the right because it represents uh, one and uh, one in the chart and one in the chart is the same as the one that I want. Done. Seriously, we are done now. This is just example number one that you might think is really annoying. Example number two. And if you did not understand anything, leave example number one. I am telling you that. Don't repeat it. You will start understanding step by step. Example number two, go back to red uh, color and I will have number six. Okay, so number six will be eight dashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And um, green color. And let me start. Six. I need to take out numerical value 6 from a combination from these like if I used 1 well now I have 1 numerical value in my hands 1 number 1 how far left to reach 6 I need number 5 I need to combine 5 well I don't have 5 in the chart let me borrow 2 as well I will took 1 I will take 2 I'm um, 2 one plus two is three. So now I have three. I need to reach six. I need number three. Or I, yeah, okay. So do I have three here? Uh, no. Well, the smallest one is four. So if I was forced to pick four, then now I have one, two, and four. Come one plus two plus four equals seven, but I need six. So I have an extra number. I need to remove one of them. Uh, and it seems that I need to remove the one itself. So logically, if I from the beginning just combine two plus four, I have six. So I need two and I need four only. I don't need the others. I don't care about the others. So I will pick the two. I will pick the four and I will neglect, neglect the others. So starting from right to left, do I need the one? No. 
Do I need... No, not that pen. I'm sorry. Yeah. Do I need the one? No. Do I need the two? I need it. Do I need the four? I need that. Do I need the eight? No, not even 16, 32, 64, 128, because I have achieved my goal using these two only. This is what I wanted. The two and the four. An eraser to make these looks better. So I don't need that, and I need that, and that as well. So 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is how number decimal 6 looks like when the computer converts to understand it by itself as a 6, because the computer stops every 8 bits. And these are 8 bits. Some of them are zeros, some of them are 1s. Example number 3, just in case you understood nothing. Uh, let's take four or five examples today. I promise you with 10. No, seriously, I should not promise you with 10. I should promise you with 20 because this video is warm up for addressing. The upcoming videos will be real addressing. Okay, this is just to understand the translation. Um, random number like 15. Uh, this is really random. So eight dashes. Eight dashes. And let me start. 15 means let me ask this student to clear the board or the teacher should do that seriously depends on the country you live in <laughs> back on school okay so one two four eight uh um, let's say i have 16 but i cannot use that so all of these values actually are bigger than 15 i believe i will never use any of these four i will need a combination of here so let me look at the smallest number related to 15 and that will be 8 why not so let me use it in that way today let me start from the 8 because if i wanted to start with the closest closest number to 15 and that is 16 but 16 is bigger so that would be useless but smaller than 16 is the 8 look to the right is 8 so i will take the 8 uh 8 plus how much left to reach 15 let's say 8 is useful if i added 4 to 8 it will be 12 useful but i haven't reached 15 yet if i added 2 plus 12 that would be 14 good useful we haven't crossed 15 yet and i have reached 14 so far so with 1 it will be 15 good lovely so i reached the number that i wanted i reached my 15 by using all of these four and not using neither of these four so i would need the one the two the four the eight the one two three four the eight and i will not need 16 32 64 and 128 at all i really really hope that so far you have started to make ah got it if you did not, a couple of more examples so that we would cross the line. More, even more. So example number four. Let me jump to a very big number so that you will cross the fear of that. And that would be 100. Let me see how we can express 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. The closest number to 100 here is 128, but it's bigger. So I will never use 128 here because it's bigger than 100. So I will leave it and I will start from the right side of, one, of 128. 64. So 64 sounds nice. So 128 is no. Um, 64 sounds nice, so might be, but I will not know. I will not write them. I will keep them on another scratching paper. Later, I will type down everything here in a good way. So, 64 plus the one to the left is, uh, to the right is 32. 64 plus 32 will be, uh, 60 plus 30, 94, 96. Good. So we reached 96. So if I combined both 64 and 32, we have reached 96 so far. How much left to reach 100? 16 or 8? 4. Yes, 4. You can lose, use it to be faster. Okay, so 64 and 32 is 96. With the 4 itself, we can reach 100. So I will not need these. I will need that. I will need you. So that will be uh, no, yes, yes, no, no, yes, no, and no. That will make it 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 
one and um, zero this is how number 100 looks like in the binary language one last example before i end this video because after this video you might need a coke you might need a pepsi you might need a tea coffee water juice whatever you might need a power drink whatever you want so that you would take a rest and then start the next video so video number uh, the example number five will be to cross the line so that i will clear your doubts like number 850 what do you think of that yes 850 so 850 is eight dashes one two three four five six seven eight and that will be the closest number to 800 is none of you <laughs> okay so what is that a mess am i lost no you are not lost this is just an example to show you how a computer would understand number 850 if you ever wrote it for whatever reason in the future or for whatever studies you have so i would need to do something to try my luck and to combine all of these eight values together okay so i will do it in that way One hundred twenty eight and sixty four, not enough, and thirty two, not enough, and sixteen, not enough, and eight, not enough, and four, and two, and one, and I am done with all the eight values, and they are not even close to half the value of eight hundred and fifty. So, but this shows, uh, a heads up so for combining the eight values of eight bits result in 255 that's why you'll never have an ip address with a higher value of eight uh, 255 okay but leave that for the next video the idea is combining all of these eight values will result to 255 so the question will be what computers nowadays never understand something called 850 when i type it for a mathematical calculation or for just a numerical value while i am typing whatever a computer must understand that and translate it to binary so that it will know what's going on well let me tell you something computers does understand that how we ended at 128 no we ended at 128 in this video because we only needed eight bits to understand ip addresses but when it comes to computer engineering, not to Cisco engineering or IPv4 engineering, things will not stop at 128. Things will continue to infinity. Okay? And I will not type infinity, but I will type some extra numbers here until I reach a number related to 800 or bigger than 800. Why? By using the same um, rule of 128 multiplied by 2 will be 256, multiplied by 2 will be 512, multiplied will be by 2 will be 102. To four and that is absolutely bigger than 850 and i will not use it because it's bigger so i will start from this number of 512 to the right side so what 512 is useful but if i wanted to combine that with 256 let's say let's see if that is useful or not so 512 plus 256 is 768 good Let's say if I added even 128, no, that is too much. Uh, adding 128 to these is too much, so I will remove 128. Uh, let's go back. Adding 64 is very good. We are almost reaching the 850. We have reached 832. To reach 850, I will need the value of 18. Because if I added 18 now, actually... I reach 850 and 18 comes from 16 plus 2. Okay, so what I used, one minute before you, re, re, um, before you forget, I used 512 and combined with 256 we reach 700 something and I used 64 to reach 832 and I used 18 to reach what? To reach to this 850. So I needed these, I did not need that and I did not need that, not that. Not that one, not that one, not that one. So how would you express that? By typing all of these, but not eight dashes. You'll have to make it nine dashes, 10 dashes, 16 dash, 
depends on the architecture but this is why i did example number five here this is not related to ipv4 at all ipv4 will never cross eight dashes it will stop here at that boundary because the combination of these eight will result to 255 we got that but this is just to tell you if someone ever asked you in an exam in an interview if you wondered with yourself can we do it even more yes we can do that even more and this is done by even uh, adding more numbers multiplied by two to the left side of the chart so that we will continue adding numerical values we can do it in that way so hope that everything was clear for you and simple for that please Please practice these five examples by your hand. Understand why they were done in that way. If you did not comment below the video so that we can discuss it. If you think you need more communication, join our Facebook group so that we will talk alongside with all the hundreds of engineers already joined in that group. And later, perhaps you will master that. Perhaps you have, you have, you have already mastered that addressing because in the upcoming video, I will talk about subnetting and you never want to start the next video before you master this one, please. So thank you.